humanitarian, immigrant, chef. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the winner of the American Express Icon Award 2019, Jose Andres. Now let's hear from the great man himself. Yes. <laughs> I'll hold that. Let's uh, say some words. So thank you very much for, for everybody, everybody for, for this award. But quite frankly, I, I would like to you to think like this is an award for I, the person, versus an award for we, the people. At the end, I guess this award is for uh, the work that many men and women has done around the world in the last 10 years. Uh, when I created World Central Kitchen, uh, I never imagined that when we went to Haiti and we began feeding some people, that in the last two years alone, um, World Central Kitchen had more than 60,000 volunteers, many of them cooks, that they left their jobs used to come to feed the hungry. We've been in three uh, continents. We've been in places like Indonesia, Guatemala, Colombia, Venezuela. So this award really goes to those men and women that without being recognized every single day, they do their best to create a better world. Please give them really a round of applause because they are the ones that do deserve it. And and thank you to the 50 for recognizing today as uh, Bourdain Day, Eric Rippert and I, uh, we thought that it would be great to recognize a person that was one that brought us all together, that show us that we are not supposed to be afraid of those that they are not like us, that they are not the same religion or color of skin, that together in our world, one plate of food at a time, you're sitting with people you don't know, we can believe that the world can be a great place. Again, sharing one plate of food at a time. And with that, I want to say that there's so many people out there that I was asking myself, what, what really the 50 has become? The 50 has embraced our profession, has given voice to our super good creative restaurants that we need to keep showing the world a way uh, forward. But I learned that the 50 best, best contribution actually is maybe not just being on the list. Yes, the ones here, you are the best of the best and you deserve so. But what I learned traveling around the world in very far away places that sometimes no chairmen go to see the work they do is that what the 50 has achieved is that is hundreds if not thousands of restaurants around the world chefs and cooks that work for those chefs, that they are working hard to one day dream that they can belong to the same place you all are. That's what the 50 has created, planting the seed of hope that one day they will make it too. And that's what we all should be celebrating, not only celebrating who we are and what we achieve, but making sure that we are able to show the way for others to dream of and achieving the same dreams that we all hope for. So again, thank you very much for this. Let's make sure that we really change the world. One plate of food at a time. I was very happy to see that the 50 was embracing over this weekend really that. Yes, we cook for the few, but if we ever forget that we need to be remembered, that we need to cook for the many, and especially that we need to be honoring not only the men that seems we are the ones always getting the most credit, but if we ask ourselves, who is really feeding the world? Let me tell you, those are the women that every single day are in every single city in the world, especially in the poor parts, are women feeding the world. And to them goes also this award. Thank you very much. Thank you.